Hey, Chris Smooth. Your destruction will be televised, my boy. All love, though. The majority of people that are really complaining about the dribbling are the guys that dribble for the whole shot clock. Cap. And then after 20 seconds and a 5 million combo dribble, they do a spin move, they break Cap. the spin move halfway, they step back about 10 feet, shoot Cap. a three, green it, and then they get all Cap. excited. Get that envy out your Those are the people that seem to be complaining the most about the dribbling. And it's funny because even Cap. these dribblers, they know they're... By the way, he's defending 2K21 next year. Now, come on. If you're not an NPC, you know that's crazy, guy. He's defending 2K21 next gen dribbling. Come on, guy. the clunky, delayed game. Come on. Not playing basketball. <laughs> if they ever make a video with a tutorial, they'll name the tutorial something like how to spam the curry. So Bro, Chris Move. That's an audience thing. That's not a YouTuber thing, my boy. That's what the audience clicks. You're a YouTuber, you know this. Come on, man. Bye. How to spam momentum, how to spam the spin, how to spam. Those titles are because the audience, not the YouTuber. Chris Move, you you looking crazy. Your dribble moves, your sigs look up. Low key, low key. You low key left right in, but you just don't know how to do it. <laughs> Even <laughs> they know they're spamming. All these years, they know that they're spamming. They're not actually playing basketball, but he's literally talking about YouTubers, by the way. You know. Here they are complaining about the dribbling and that it's not good. <laughs> and it's funny because if you go back to the and one street days with hot sauce. You remember that? You remember those dribblers? Even they didn't dribble the way that people are dribbling Damn, so in NBA 2K. Even they didn't do a spin move. Right? Now, before I show this footage, I wanna show you something else. Now look, I just posted a clip of someone dribbling like Steezo in real life. I've been telling y'all, right? I'm not a dribble god, by the way. But look, someone dribbling like Steezo in real life. His ticky, go check. He does it all the time. So that's realistic. Look, let let's have a look, see, bro. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> no asthma. No look. 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 Body. <laughs> Y'all are bodied. You're destroyed. <laughs> You're destroyed. Destroyed. In NBA 2K, even they you. didn't do a spin move. We just showed you. We are in the Park City. It's not the NBA playoffs. You want realistic basketball, go do your my career or go play play. Stay in the wreck, just like y'all do. Or go outside. This is pick up basketball. Stop crying. This is facts. Here's some more facts of y'all from the Swan, man. Go follow your boy on Twitter. <laughs> just caught another body, man. Y'all's destruction will be televised. Sim Nation, you're taking constant L's over and over again. Now look, I just proved that dribbling like Steezo is realistic. Now y'all saying this don't work in real life. It don't work in 2K either. Where do dribble gods exist? They stay in the park, my boy. You don't see them in the stage. There's only one Steezo. And even when he play certain stages, he switch it up a little bit you know you don't see him in the league who's being a dribble god in the league huh dribble gods aren't like that it don't work in 2k it don't work in real life what y'all gotta understand y'all say oh y'all would clamp that in real life you would clamp that in real life but if Kyrie's doing that or Steph Curry's doing that are you clamping him huh no you're not Damn. that's the difference in 2k that's how much better people are than you on the game damn you damn. accountability my boy damn i done took down the biggest dribble guys <laughs> damn All past 2ks in they prime damn. documented the damn. highest sub counts that y'all be crying about damn destroyed them damn. playing 50 times less than them damn you understand ain't no dribble guys Versus me, damn. Y'all gotta get better at the game. Stop damn. crying and ruining the game, my boy. Mm. Adapt. Mm. You're not nice. Mm. Okay, I prove my point. You lost. Ooh. I win. <laughs> damn. I win. Oh, damn. You're so not I... like that. Oh, Accept man. it and get better. Mm. Stage laugh at Father dribble Storm. gods. Mm. Do you not understand? Mm. So do Lee. <laughs> There is a few that could do that at first comp. Mm.
when you are getting dribbled on in 2K, it means you suck. I'm mm. sorry. Damn. Do you understand? Damn. Huh? You lost. I'm sorry. It's time for evolution, man. Evolution isn't real. <laughs> Damn. So look. Chris Smooth literally made this tweet about me, guys. I'm the reason that vid went viral. If y'all didn't know, no, I did not make the video. A supporter of mine made the video, right? And he asked me to respond to it because I have a platform, right? And I did. And it went viral. You know, other people took the video, posted it on their stuff. But Chris Smooth said a commentary from two years ago. Wait, wait, wait. Before we get in more into that, listen, none of this is personal, bro. Okay? This is all 2K related. We're just saying he's an NPC, so don't talk about gameplay, basic. Okay? That's all it is. Y'all need to calm down. Stop double twisting. That's all, bro. Come on, man. Relax. Now, the only reason I even seen that clip, like the original, original one, is because Power DF hyped it up. Y'all know he hates dribblers and ISO guys. He's a he's a Dexing stretch big, my boy. But anyways, Chris Smooth, of all people, is saying that's the opposite of adapting. Chris Smooth, listen, listen. Of course you've you're you're doing great on youtube bro you're you're the you're the top guy you're the you're the top dog on the tube but look stay in your lane how can you speak about adapting if you've never adapted on any 2k like let's keep it a hundred i don't care how many of you guys watched chris smooth when you were little kids his my career i don't care let's keep it a hundred when have you ever adapted to the game? You have never adapted. You stay in my career and play AIs, right? Or you play Wreck, which is straight bot casuals. How can you speak? How can you even speak about gameplay when literally 95% of my side would dog you like you're a complete NPC? 80% of the people watching this video would dog you, right? So you clearly don't understand the game at all here's my thing bro if you've never adapted you're not going out in the field stop telling other people to adapt the skilled players adapt every year and we still dominate y'all never do you hide in casual modes which is completely fine you don't have to take 2k serious and all this and that you don't have to who cares it's a video game but when you sit here and cry chris smooth has been crying for years he's the reason him and a lot others a lot of the casual negative win percents is the reason we have such a horrible game right now. crying and complaining about someone they never verse envy they sit there they see our videos and envy for some reason since two 2k relates to real life everyone feels like if they can't compete they take it real personal just like everyone feels they have the ultimate basketball opinion everyone feels they're so good at 2k in real life basketball y'all need to step away and know your place bro it's it's like bro y'all done ruined the whole game the game used to be way more realistic than it was right Y'all sit here and cry and complain because you can't play. Y'all sit here and cry and complain because you can't adapt, bro. It's straight envy. Y'all would have more of an argument if you were actually playing players like us, but you're not. You're playing straight bot cash. I play in random modes. I see who y'all are facing, right? So this is straight from envy. They hate seeing 2K League and... um streamers and youtubers they hate it but what you don't understand is y'all created that back in the day the realistic 2k the highest skill gap 2k everything that i'm fighting for everything that i advocate for was more realistic the meta didn't left right why because realistic dribble moves were effective y'all cried and complained and got them nerfed and now since left right's unpatchable that's all comp does you created the game that you hate. Stop crying. You're gonna stay in your casual mode no matter what. You're never gonna be able to compete with us. Stay in your lane, my boy. You y'all done ruined the game. Y'all are the sole reason there's no defense in the game because they know y'all suck. Everything they do is to cater to the casual. Do y'all not understand? It's to cater to the negative win percent NPC, Sim Nation. It's to cater to y'all. Y'all have created this. They will never put defense in the game because of y'all. 
Slashing will always be easy because of y'all. Fading will always be easy because of y'all. Post scoring will always be easy because of y'all, right? Everything that takes no skill, shooting will always be easy because of y'all. All gaming is going casual based, sim based, right? All gaming. So stop with that little skill gap stuff. It's cap, right? Every mechanic of the old games used to be way better and they had a higher skill gap. 2K does not believe that y'all would love those games. They think it's too hard. So Chris move, stay in your lane, stop complain sim heads in quotation marks they're uh -huh. complaining about the gameplay the state of the gameplay the direction of the gameplay in the franchise yeah the last few years that they created that they created chris that they created they're not listening to us years and going into nba 2k24 and somehow this bad gameplay it's the sim heads fault yes that is a myth it's not a myth, boy. Everything they do is for them. They've said it. This is casual. This is the most casual, easiest 2K ever. Chris, stop talking like you're in the field. You don't know. You are an outsider. How can you speak about gameplay when you're not when 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 you're not in the field? Why is the game slower? Sim heads. Why is adrenaline in the game? Sim heads. Why is there no defense? Sim heads. Why are fades easy? Sim heads. Why do they keep nerfing dribble moves every year? Sim heads. Why is slashing easy? Sim heads. So what are you talking about? What do they really make for us? What? There's not that many sim heads that play this game. Listen, Chris Move, 90% of people who view 2K, because not even everyone plays 2K, they agree with sim heads, so they are sim heads. The casual is a sim head, right? Because sim is casual so they're gonna automatically agree with them that's why things keep going viral they all agree they are the majority the game is built for the casual the sim heads they are all one every casual is a sim head what percentage of the player base in 2k do you think would be considered a sim head what over 90 percent body a percentage out of 100 because i can tell you right now if i go and play on a random gamer tag a gamer tag that is not famous and i go to the park or i go to the rec center i go play online am i gonna see sim basketball being played or yes. am i gonna see a bunch of cheese you're not gonna see cheese chris move you're so out of touch bro i go live and stream live not youtube stuff bro i go and stream live okay everyone i'm playing is a bot i play incognito the only people that be meta are people that are literally stream sniping me when i play no squad and wreck there is no cheese heads boy why do y'all lie i i do it live people can testify i've been doing it for years document it and then when i go play park over 80 percent are straight bots that play like you no meta stuff right so y'all are really complaining about a streamer or a youtube that is the 0.001 percent why are you worried about them no matter what they do to the game we're gonna always be a style that you will not accept no matter what you are ruining the game for yourself and the whole community everyone knows 23 the only ones that actually say 23 is good is the ones that get off on comp players and decent players disliking the game that's the sole reason i talk to everyone i talk to everyone in game chat casuals and all comp players hate 2k23 this is a fact right polls have been done everything the only people that claim to like it are the envious sim head npcs if this youtube and all this didn't exist they couldn't see us they would hate this they actually hate right so so when you're complaining about the state of the gameplay you have to understand the reason that the game plays this way is because of how you complain about the game no sim players it, are in the minority there's not that many of them they don't have it's about how you complain about the game what are you talking about look at a 
adrenaline and dribbling. What are you talking about? You're lost. It's a fact. Look at 2K23. Look how easy, easily and casual based it is. What are you talking about? Look at the movement of the game. Comp players don't like movement like that. We don't like slow movement like that. So who did they make the game for? Stop lying. Why do all these YouTubers and all these people lie? Listen, we can get in the core, smooth, any other YouTuber, streamer, whatever, we can debate. None of you will take me on my challenge. Even you complete randoms. We could go do it live. I will body every single one of you in any argument, right? They don't gotta get personal and all that stuff, but I will body bag. No one takes my challenge. They're scared of, how are you scared to debate on this? That is so weird, so weird. Chris Smooth, I challenge you, bro. You ain't gotta think nobody clout chasing and none of that, bro. I know plenty of clout and bro. I know Agent, Your Rage, all them bro i can interact with any of them anytime i want on any level so it's, it's it's not about that but if you want to get your logic test and exposed holla at your boy any of you youtubers there's a lot of other guys i will body bag your whole ideology and make you question reality. any influence when they complain about the game they don't listen to them when a sim player complains about the game it sounds something like this when i lock up this pick and roll and i finally get that good animation to slip over on the other side he shouldn't be able to then turn away from me run into the corner and hit a fading three green a fading three without takeover he shouldn't be able to bail himself out like that <laughs> chris move you're lying all my side all we do is beg for defense all day look at my twitter oh that's all we do we beg for 2k16 highest skill gap defense the reason that exists is because it ex it affects the casual if we th th this is what y'all don't get bro the casual wants the game to be easy right that's why they want contested shots to go in and all of that 2k thinks that having no defense in the game is preferred no comp player wants that to happen what are you talking about? We want defense. If we're in someone's face, we want it to never go in. I talked to a dev live. He said, 2K is never going back. It's never getting harder. Y'all are the minority. Your point zero 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 one percent What y'all say and want doesn't matter. The skill gap y'all want doesn't matter. What? We want D. We want, if, if you're contested, we don't want that going in. We want big bump animations. Go look at our tweets. The dribble god spammers, we want defense. We're overall way higher class than y'all when it comes to this gameplay y'all don't understand it y'all think cheesers don't want defense in the game doesn't make sense you're lying now there's not a lot of people that complain to 2k about that instead Tap. this is what people He's complain lying. to 2k about they say something like this i can't make shots i got a 93 ball i'm wide open i can't make those are negative win percents my side says shooting is too easy what are you talking about he's literally making a video line and all i bet you everyone's agreeing do y'all not see y'all are ruining the game this is why if you're not good at the game you can't talk about it you live in a delusion bro right he he's not even in the community speaking about stuff that he has no idea about it makes no sense take a shot i looked at my player card i'm only shooting 55 percent from the three-point line i need to be shooting at least 70 percent from three I'm all comp players shoot 60 to 70 percent what are you talking about <laughs> what changing my release every week they keep patching my shot i gotta go make a new shot every week negative win so percents. when 2k sees the five complaints from sim players <laughs> complaining about the guys bailing themselves out at the end of the shot clock when they got locked up hitting a fading three greening the fading three do you want to know why that happens because they don't put defense in the game for you casuals that's a fact it's not for us. After zigzagging the whole 24 seconds, they just ignore that because they're getting flooded with a thousand, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, a million Brazilian, a billionaire, a trillionaire. They see people complaining about they can't hit a shot with a 93. Negative win What do you think 2K is gonna do? They're gonna make it easier to shoot. And because that's why the negative people can win fade consistently and make shots from three. Chris Moo, my side has been saying nerfs, nerf fades forever. Your side that you're not even connected with once fades in the game they say it's realistic and all that if they nerf fades and make it hard for my side your side will never be able to fade that that's the problem that that's what y'all don't understand if it's easy if if it's easy for the casual to do imagine what a good player can actually do that's the problem with 2k and y'all don't understand this is why you have to make the game harder and have a skill gap because if you make an easy game for the casual the guy who plays god of war gets on every 
every now and then, every two weeks, whatever gets on and he can get on and score, that's that direction all gaming is going. A dev even said it in a space and they all defended it on Twitter after the space. They are, they are, they want the game to be pick up and play Chris Smooth. They want you playing all these games. They want you to be able to get on and fall in love with 2K instantly. What does that mean? They have to make the game easy for them. The sim head, the casual head, the one that wants to really get all that. They're making it for y'all like that. It's, it's really crazy how y'all don't realize that. Look, I'm going to say it again. All gaming, multiplayer game is going in the casual, casual directs direction is the same way. Pick up and play. They're not doing that for us. We're extreme minority. We're 0.0001%, right? Influencers, all that. They're doing it for the casual. All influencers, every time someone blows up, they leave. Why are they leaving? Because the game is no one wants to play a casual 2k they want 2ks to have a counter we want a counter to everything there's too many things in 2k that does not have a counter that's why decent players like myself don't f with the newer 2ks because things have less of a counter than when they used to right they can build an offensive strategy around that tactic it works and because the fade work now we have a problem on defense because you have to potentially be ready to guard this fade but they could also yeah. just go right around you and go to the basket yep. so on defense That's you can't guard casual. both so you kind of gotta guess <laughs> what do you want to do on this possession do you but guess what chris moved because of your side we complain about this this is how you're so untapped in bro but you're talking about the game it doesn't make sense you want to try to go for that fade you think it's gonna fade or you think it's gonna go to the basket should i back off a little bit you're guessing instead of reacting you just guess Yep. In 2K games, it's been like this that. forever. The offensive player always has an advantage. Yep. They always <laughs> have a speed advantage. Yup. On offense, there are a million different ways that you can go from a standstill to flying 100 miles an hour in any yes. direction. There are so many moves. There's step back move. There's literally a standstill move. Just hold turbo and go diagonal and you're- Listen, listen. We want defense in the game, Chris Move, just like you. But they think y'all are saying you want defense, but you really don't. They think y'all want to be lied to, right? Because because if they implement defense, listen, bro. If they implement defense, casuals, sim guys are getting destroyed. Y'all don't have the stick skill. You don't have the 2K IQ. You're you're never going to school, right? A lot of y'all think you're way better than you are. When If defense is in the game, the skilled player is really dominating you, bro. That's what y'all don't get. That's what 2K knows. That's why they're not putting D in the game. They're speeding. There's just so many ways to speed up your player on offense. On defense, there is no way to speed yourself up. Facts. So if you're guarding somebody and in the back of their mind, they're thinking that they got by you. They've already gotten by you. Yep. They didn't even make their move yet and they've already gotten by you yep. and it's funny because you can even guess the direction that somebody's gonna go in and you can even get a collision you can trigger a collision but then after the collision it's possible for the offensive player to get a speed look look chris move it's my first time watching your video i'm a very busy man let's look on the timeline bro let's scroll through this i have so many tweets about defense hold on let me see look right here greatest defensive 2k game ever ever when you shot made you fade backwards. All creators want defense in the game. Look, this is me right here. Defense, comp, clamping up a comp stage player. Look, bro, I talk about defense all the time. All creators, look, Red City, all us cheesers, all us little speed boosters, we all want defense. Bad in the game, bad. We beg for it every year. We want this. We want when left right happens, we want this to happen. Y'all are lying. You're lying. We want D. Why lie? We need to unify and attack 2K. Put D in this hole, stop nerfing offense, buff defense. You feel me? A great 2K has amazing offense and amazing defense. Okay? And I have way more tweets too. Speed boost and go in the other direction to bounce off of the collision and then speed boost for a layup or a dunk. So when people are complaining about the game, I never see people complaining saying, hey, on defense, we need to be able to go faster. We need to be able to move laterally. You're lying. That guy didn't really do anything, but he got Yo. Fired. Why can't I just take- Yo. It? Yo, why is this- Right. Yo, see, he's not even tapped in. Why? What? Who is he listening to? Bro, that's all we say. We want way more defense. Every stage head cries and complains about defense every day. What are you talking about? Every comp park player talks about defense. Every streamer, every YouTuber, we talk about defense. What are you talking about? A simple step over here and collide with him. 
I never hear anybody complaining saying, hey, you need to calm down this speed boosting. There's too many ways that you can just go from zero to 100 bro, bro. before I can blink that, an eye. That's not the problem, I never hear boy. people complaining about that, but I hear people saying, I can't speed boost. I can't momentum. I can't momentum momentum. I can't link the momentum. Bro, listen, everyone can still dribble. The, the difference between dribbling now versus then, Chris Smooth, you're, you're so lost in reality, you probably don't even know that people can dribble without a dribble. The difference between back then is realistic moves work. Realistic moves now don't work. A momentum back then used to be able to kill someone just straight off of momentum. You do a momentum now, it's ineffective. And I'm talking versus comp, because that seems to be where all y'all's head is. Y'all are sitting here crying about comp, someone you never play. A momentum used to be able to kill a comp player, right? Now, it's all fluff. All dribbling is fluff. If you're dribbling, it's just fluff. It's ineffective. Y'all think it's effective, but it's really not. Phantom with this, the dribbling suck. Get rid of these adrenaline bars. Now, here's the funny thing about the adrenaline bars. When they were first announced, all of the sim heads in quotation, in the back of their mind, they knew that this was not a solution because you still had three bars every possession, which means you get three chances every possession. Chris Mo, you are hard. It's like you ruined the game because of envy, dog. You don't even play online. Y'all are gonna get it to where the game's gonna have like one adrenaline. This is what 2K was made off of. All the golden era 2Ks, all the 2Ks y'all love. Y'all now, bro, They y'all got stamina. You got super nerf stamina, right? Not only that, but now you got adrenaline. Imagine they put one adrenaline in. Jesus Christ, y'all want y'all's handheld so bad. Golden era 2K had basically unlimited stamina the game played way better people weren't dribbling out the shot clock people dribble out the shot clock more with limited stuff than back then with more unlimited stuff why is that because there's no defense in the game we want defense y'all are crazy bro y'all should have played live why did you let live die smooth 2k is not for you bro playing online you should have played live, bro. There's no comp, you know, straight horrible players. Why don't y'all go play live? 2K's not for you. You're y'all are trying to make a game that has never existed. A, a NBA Live remaster. Why why aren't we remastering the golden era 2Ks that the realistic side and the uh comp side want? Why aren't we bringing inspiration from that? Why are we copying NBA Live? That's insane. To activate one, and you only need to activate one, and that's it. You're gone. So the first two times that you try to activate, knowing that offensive players are faster and defensive players kind of got a guess, a defensive player could have locked you up twice. Guessed which way you were activating twice. Remember online, there's lag and latency that also helps this situation. But then you still had that one bar left. You pulled it back one more time and then you launch and you're out of there. You slipped by. He could have even bumped you and you slipped by. You blew by. Maybe your clamp breaker activated and you blew by. You don't want clamp breaker. Now, this is going to make a lot of people mad because all of this stuff is documented. People came out and complained about the adrenaline system. It's in videos yes. everywhere. Yes. And there's only a handful of people that all year never complained about the adrenaline system. Who? There's only a few who dribblers, who? real elite dribblers that were in Chris Moe, shut up. You don't know what the hell you talking about, boy. Every comp player, every dribble guy does not like adrenaline. What are you talking about? The greatest dribbler in the game, Steezo, does not like adrenaline. Anyone that actually knows 2K and is decent at 2K, battle tested, proven, does not like adrenaline. And you want to know why? Here's what y'all don't understand. Adrenaline makes you left, right more than ever. Why? Look, I'm going to break it down for you for y'all that never heard Chris move. Listen, when you have limiters on your player, when you come up the court, what are you thinking? Oh, I'm not going to dribble, right? I'm not going to do realistic moves. I'm only going to left, right. In such a delayed game, why would you do any dribble moves that are risky, that can make you lose the adrenaline? You don't want to get asthma on the court. That's very embarrassing. And it's going to make your team lose. So what are you going to do? You're going to learn to master the fade and the left, right, because that's one go. It's you are coming up the court with limiters. You're only going to left, right. Even me, when I come up the court, I'm thinking, how can I get them? And I'm not going to do realistic dribble moves, especially if I face comp. I'm going to left, right. If I'm playing someone and I care about winning, I'm more than likely going to left, right when I'm playing a comp player. So y'all are literally making people left, right more by having adrenaline. Do you not understand? Everyone knows this. This rim run play style, that, that's even meant more than ever. This stop and go play style, 
that's so used and abused, it's even now more than ever because of adrenaline. The restriction makes people, oh, I don't have, I don't want to lose nothing. Let me try to do that one little glitchy speed boost move to get it done. This is what restriction creates. It makes people cheese harder. They're not gonna go and then play what you think they're gonna play. It's gonna make them actually cheese way more than off because they have limited chances. Bro, if you have in real life, life on the line, if you have to make a shot or handle someone in real life, right, in some type of way, what are you gonna do? You're going for the finisher. And the finisher in 2K terms is the cheesiest thing you can do. Adrenaline makes people only left right. Do you not understand? Even if you slow the game down and do all this stuff and nerf everyone, nerf everyone, it's going to make people cheese harder the only true solution to what y'all want is to implement defense not affected at all by the adrenaline system they never complained about it Cap. <laughs> all the other people complain about adrenaline system maybe they're gonna private their videos they don't want you to go back and be like look this guy was complaining about the adrenaline he couldn't hear dribble. how delusional there he were is. only a very select few that never did and they were still moving <laughs> They were moving. Everyone's moving. What you talking about? Everyone's adapted. Everyone. All dribble gods. All comp players. Everyone. What you talking about? He's lying. Unaffected by adrenaline. They didn't even use adrenaline. <laughs> now, how is that possible, guys? You have been exposed. You are not the elite dribbler you think you are. You were complaining about yo, adrenaline, yo, and trolling. they were moving bro, without adrenaline. They bro. were unaffected. <laughs> bro, 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 he has to be trolled. He don't even talk to complex. Steezo never uses adrenaline, and he's talking about when adrenaline. All dribble gods never use adrenaline, but they're talking about. But listen to what he's saying. He's lying, and people believe. This is what 90% of the community believe. Y'all go watch someone play. You'll see them not use adrenaline. Since explain yourself you can't hide the videos are there we've seen it i synced it and i remember at one point oh in the year God. 2k patched the left right oh. Woo. the uproar was crazy bro they didn't patch the left right they just nerfed the game and ruined the game 2k 22 y'all talking about the one patch listen listen chris move listen community this is what y'all are so lost in 2k22 they did a pack right and messed up the game made it very slow slow and all that right everyone complained right every time they nerf dribbling and offense everyone always that doesn't mean we're not way better than y'all y'all are hiding in my career and all that you can't even talk but look what did that make happen it made left writing worse do you not understand people figured out how to master left right they figured out how to do certain type of left rights that were unpatchable do you not understand with the implementation of that it made people left right even harder on 2k22 and they mastered they put it back and then they took it out again and then guess what everyone in 2k22 for the rest of the year they now have a mastered left right that's basically unstoppable and then it was the easiest shoot in 2k because they did that for the casuals that made the left right look even worse so y'all don't get it and and the comp players were talking about playing comp de defensive guys not in no right they're talking about the 50 people in the state they're talking about pro-am comp people they're not talking about struggling versus your side i was still going crazy dogging y'all in the park see you don't understand when y'all keep making restriction it makes people cheese harder do you not understand that's why freedom has to exist and you just have to buff defense because people are going to find a way. That's what you don't understand. When people go crazy and they dribble, it gives you a way higher chance. It gives you a way higher chance to stop that person. It's an advantage for you. And then when you over dribble, it makes them hitting the shot harder. When someone doesn't over dribble, that actually makes it harder for you because they're they're gonna they're doing it in cheesy meth in broken methods. That's harder to guard than someone trying to get saucy. For about a week, it was non-stop complaining and 2K reverted that patch back with the quickness and, and once again those elite dribblers they were not affected during that whole time it didn't bother them but it you're bothered lying. you <laughs> and you can't hide that fact you're lying but what is sim what does it mean when somebody says sim basketball or sim head yes it does mean realistic more realistic we are playing a video game it doesn't mean that you can't do video game things but we are playing basketball and basketball has certain strategies and tactics yo look sim means casual but y'all have been exposed because if we really go sim shooting's gonna be very hard y'all will never adapt people in real life people in real life they don't make shots greatest shooter ever shooting like 40 something percent right so imagine y'all's casual base y'all would never be able to make shots cry 
and it would never help me. Y'all want the game to be more casual. And there's supposed to be ways to counter strategies that make sense from a basketball standpoint. It doesn't mean that you can't do flashy dunks or dribbles. To keep it as simple as possible, Sim is really about variety in sim is about cap gameplay there are so many animations available in the game there are so many different ways to attack and different strategies and different things that you can do on the court in this game with all of these virtual players but you never get to see those things you get to see maybe about five different moves Stop every crying. game when really you why 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 do you get to see five different moves every game because y'all cried and got all the dribble moves nerfed what are you talking about the game back then had way more dribble animations y'all cried y'all got everything nerfed now the only thing that's unnerfable is left right that's why meta left right because y'all nerfed other moves look at comp gameplay from back in the day they're not just sitting there left riding should be seeing about 35 different moves a game and if you play for an hour or two hours every game you should see something you didn't see in the last game Yep. But what ends up happening in 2K is that people do the same thing the entire game. So you could play a rec center game, which is 5v5. You get all excited. You're like, yo, we're about to play some team basketball. We could run some plays, some pick and rolls and pick and pops. We can run some off ball screens, some double. Everyone in the rec is horrible, smooth down screens we can have some post action happen every once in a while we could have some backdoor cuts some passes we could pass from not see look chris move you low-key want what we want but you're letting your end cloud your judgment y'all have ruined the game we're telling we want more dribble moves that are effective but y'all nerf everything so now people only left right what don't y'all get just the middle of the court from the main ball handler you're thinking about how you can run plays and then you get online and every game against the team there is a zone defense yeah so what does that mean that means you can't do any of that stuff you can't run any plays because you got guys standing in a specific spot the whole game they have the designated spot in every possession. Their player goes to that exact pixel and stands right there. <laughs> On offense, it's the same thing. It's a five out offense. You've got designated guys that just. And look, look, Chris move. Here's another thing you don't. Here's another thing. Adrenaline boost in the game makes people isolate. But you you probably think opposite. Listen, I'm going to tell you from a comp perspective. I'm going to tell you from a comp perspective. Why would I dribble behind a screen when I have adrenaline? The game's so delayed, right? I could easily mess up. And back in the day, if I messed up, I wasn't going to lose something that has to do with my stamina or something. And then it might not even be you who messes up. It might be a center, right? Centers don't have a lot of IQ. They could easily mess up and make you waste the adrenaline so after you try doing playing real team ball behind a screen right that y'all love right you're gonna be like yo you keep messing me up i'm not going to do this i'm going to iso so adrenaline literally creates someone iso way more that's why iso is so increased because people don't want to waste their adrenaline you can't predict your center like that the center can't predict you like that it's very rare that you have a decent center on your team it is extremely rare if you have a bad center you're going Going to waste your adrenaline that is very vital in the game so what you're gonna do going to so you see y'all are creating the online game that y'all don't want and you don't realize it. the answer is to buff deep stand in the same spot they just wait until somebody goes to help because it's a one-on-one -on -one. they're gonna do the whole thing with the offense and the speed advantage that the offense has so if somebody helped then they'll make a pass the guy standing on that pixel the same pixel he was standing on for the whole game he's gonna shoot the three hey maybe that guy will cut every once in a while from the corner yeah maybe this team will run a pick and roll instead of the one-on-one -on -one five out but it's still a five out it's a pick and roll every time yeah maybe you know okay like i said there's gonna be about five moves that you see when you should be seeing at least 35 different moves every yep. game yes. does everybody remember that. the curry slot wow that was a crazy year every dribble <laughs> combo ended with a curry slot you even name the year? it was abused and used so much that the next year you 2k it. took the curry slide out of the game it was no longer in the store you couldn't even buy the animation what? for your player now the funny thing is the huh? cheesers this is a Larry, they found out a way to still get the curry slot. <laughs> they made a new build and somehow they glitched the build and then the build had access to the curry slot. And I remember we were in a game, we were playing oh in a wreck, and I saw somebody do a curry slide, and I was uh, like, wait, what? How did he do a curry slide? Oh my god. So because god, you guys don't bro. complain about the right things, Yo. 2K doesn't know how to fix this. The only way to fix this problem, this variety problem, oh this cheesing god. problem, is to improve the defense. Bro, nobody see, cares. Bro, bro, we're on the same side, bro. But Chris move, you don't understand. Your side is casual. We have to go at 2K. They think people don't want a challenge, right? They think people are gonna stay on the 
game more if it's easy to score when that's not true when you work for something and there's some type of difficulty barrier you become you know it's like if you work for a million versus if you're just given a million that million means way more to you if you work for it bro you're gonna treat it different you're gonna feel different with 2k you just get on that hoe oh i just got a million oh i can just dunk i just shoot a three and no try right that's not rewarding but if you have to if you had to work better you know you start to see improvements oh oh my god you know because it's harder there's a skill gap bro this is what gaming doesn't understand keep that casual in the story mode bro not multiplayer game there gotta be a balance it can't just be straight casual which 2k has become that you want to dribble out the clock for 24 seconds no trying either. to be fancy trying to be an elite dribbler like i said there's only a few guys all year that didn't complain about the adrenaline Ooh. and those were the only true elite dribblers there's not that many of them we Ooh. don't care that you're dribbling like crazy we care that when you make a mistake oh yes and a lot of you are mistakes when you put that ball right in front of us we, we can't steal the ball we want so in that. the curry slot it was used and abused so much you knew when somebody was going to do it so what does do what does a basketball mind do they say you know what i'm gonna do when he does the curry slide i'm gonna be on the other side of the curry slide i'm gonna be on this hand so when he does it and then he puts the ball right there i'm gonna steal we it we want that to be a steal that's the logical way to stop that move and many other moves when people are spinning they're doing it in and out whatever it is if they place that ball right in front of you and you're standing there you should be able to steal it we want you to anticipated be a steal. the move you got there before they did the move and then they were dumb enough to do the move and land right there when you reach in you should be able to get the steal but what happens you can't steal the curry slot. That's you can't steal all these moves. 2K That's for casual. It's not for us. It doesn't need to eliminate the curry slot. You just need to be able to steal the curry slot. The current steal system in the game is very weird. It doesn't make sense from a basketball standpoint. Yep. A lot of moves, you have to steal it right before they activate the move. You can't steal it at the end of the move or mid move. Look, Chris Move, listen. I know you, listen, defense needs to be improved. Interior defense, perimeter defense, clamps, riding pit players and stuff, all that needs to be improved. Stealing is R and K. That, that's why in real basketball, they say, stop reaching, play basketball, okay? Steals is good when it matters, but it does not happen as often as y'all think. Beginning of 2K23, steals were broke, okay? You could just go up to someone and press square, be a center, someone with no steal and completely rip someone with hall of fame right in real basketball a player can size you up the steal was so broke that you couldn't even size up a player you had to run away from him like you're an nfl running back that's not basketball this is why y'all don't want real basketball y'all want casual basketball you want to go up to someone and just press square and get the steal people barely get steals in real life it's very rare right especially when they have elite drip they never made a mistake you bump someone once twice three times four times and then you time your steal great but if you can just go up to someone and press square that is not that should not be in the game you need to fix that when you start bumping someone you should be able to get the steal but just going up and pressing square that's broke especially if you're a damn center or a person with no steal come on man and that's a problem so even when these dribblers make mistakes you can't steal the ball. But I don't hear anybody talking about this. I've never heard anybody. Chris Smooth, how aren't you hearing people talk? People say this all the time. You're not tapping. Complain that you can't steal the ball when people make a mistake. But then nobody has a problem about all these crossbody steals where you're trying to protect the ball. You have the ball in the opposite hand on the opposite body side, but they can still steal it from across your body with an animation. But when somebody dribbles right in front of you, do y'all hear what he's saying? He's saying that no one can. Maybe even bumps into you. You get a collision, baby. <laughs> now you can't steal it. You might even get a reach in foul. The only way to get variety is to have the counter to the variety. The defense has to improve. That's what we Same want. thing with the zone defense in the rec center. Zone. And then, and then guess what, Chris? Listen, you know why zone's even harder? And why you hate zone? Because y'all cried so much. Y'all cried so much. They made player models bigger, courts smaller, thinking that it's going to help people not dribble and left, right, or whatever. But what it did is it made one person able to guard two and y'all hate y'all y'all hate that right they be able to you know y'all fives players but y'all created that y'all sim and casual guy they made all the courts smaller you know that's why people can help off so much and all that they did it for y'all they, they think that's a fix for y'all to help y'all out when, when y'all play someone that's good at the game on defenses have weaknesses but in 2k there is no weakness you're all up in the passing lane either the court is too small the players are too big the, something's not right with the passing the angles that's not what happens in basketball so that's why people sit in the zone because there's no weakness when you play zone yeah. another weakness is supposed to be rebounding there's no rebounding weakness people are leaking out cherry picking they get the rebound they throw it down the court the people up top in the zone they immediately release nobody is complaining 
complaining about this stuff. So they're not gonna fix the court size or whatever it is. Bro. Passing lanes. They're God. not gonna Wait, fix the stealing. On, so I people are gonna be able to wildly dribble bro. with no cons. Hold on, hold on. I know this video's getting a lot of hate. I don't know if y'all still here. Y'all hear what he's saying, nobody's complaining. And if you're clearly in the community, you hear people complaining, right? So it's like, what is he talking? You feel me? Like, what, what, what is he talking about? Like, I'm so confused. Sequence. And that's why it's funny that people complain and try to blame sim players, sim heads, for why they don't like the gameplay. But the gameplay is the way it is because you complain to make it that way. We don't like 2K23. The sim heads love 2K23. What the f are you talking about? What are you talking about? They like 2K23. They want this system to keep going. They complained and got the game they wanted. What are you talking? We didn't never said that we wanted some. If you don't like how the gameplay is going, you don't like the direction, then you need to change the direction of your complaints. It needs to be the majority. They're going to listen to the majority of the complaints and they're going to do what they say. The and there's no way that sim heads are That's in sim. the majority. And it's your loss. Sim is casual. They all agree. It's common sense. A sim person aligns with a casual. Funny, because at the start of 2K, they usually do try to throw a bone to the sim head, so to speak. They try to put in something to please them, but you know it's only gonna last for about a week. They're gonna get rid of it soon. So that first week of gameplay is always very interesting. And I remember one year. Listen, first week of game is irrelevant. No one knows how to play. No one knows the best sigs. No one knows the best jump. The majority of what people are playing, nobody knows how to play the game. People learn how to play the game, then you really see how the game plays. No one has their badges or nothing. So all that first stuff and all that, especially because they don't have the sliders easier and all that, it's irrelevant. Y'all are people. I love this game. They're beating up on people with no badges that don't know how to play, right? But when people learn how to play, they're like, wow, this game's horrible. The game came out and the defense was so vicious that no, people were making memes. They were making in real life memes wait, wait, wait. of people playing basketball, getting punched, tackled, boxing, MMA, wrestling moves. Cause that's how fierce <laughs> the defense was. 2K threw a bone, but then you know after a few weeks what, they're gonna 2K? patch it right back because the bro he can't even name the 2K. He's not in deep, bro. So I mean I don't know why he's speaking about this stuff. His platform's too big for like this. You feel me? Complainers are gonna be complaining and they're gonna listen to the majority. So if you don't like the gameplay, we're the minority, so you you don't make sense. Don't look at the sim heads. Don't get mad at them. They didn't do anything. Yes, Be careful did. what you wish for. You know that saying. You're getting what you wished for. Yes. The majority is making the game get tweaked in these ways. Yes. Sim, casual, all the same people, bro. Careful what you wish for. They created this game. We want an older 2K. Y'all want this. And it's not those evil sim heads that are ruining the game for you. And the funniest thing about all of this is that through the years, I've never seen players get tired in 2K when you're playing online. Do you ever see, do you ever see somebody with a Gatorade symbol? People are running all over the court, fading threes, zigzagging, about. dunking oh all game, and they never get tired. And 2K has all of these badges in the game that even if you do get tired, they help you score when you get tired. Oh my God. It's crazy. Like stamina really doesn't matter that much. Yo, oh my God. Stamina is lower than ever, bro. And y'all, you're stealing from the custom because you're forcing people to buy Gatorade. What is he talking about? In a, in a, in a game to 21, nobody's getting tired. First off, first off, people can dribble for hours in real life. So this is unrealistic for an NBA player, caliber player. Y'all know the NBA player is like 0.001% cardiovascular system genetics, right? We're endurance creatures as humans. We can beat out a lot of animals because of our endurance. No one gets asthma in real life. That's unrealistic. Adrenaline is unrealistic. So Y'all are not really sim head casual, but it's like, damn, bro. Chris Smooth want the stamina to be even lower than it is? God damn. They, they try to ruin this hoe. So these sim players that you keep complaining about, if they actually had influence on the game, you would see Gatorade symbols out there. You God. would see people getting tired. I played so many games online in the rec and the park this year, and I don't think I ever saw somebody get tired. Now look. I can understand in fives if you want to implement some type of stamina. Not no part, dog, bro. People get tired in three dribble moves, Chris. Move. Shut up. I'm talking about tired. Maybe if I did, it might have been like one or two times out of all the games, and people are holding down turbo the whole game, and I just I haven't seen the Gatorade symbols. But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm that made me. Now break it down, yo, off the top of the dome, dome.